All right, in the black. Go ahead, Courtney, take it away. Just going back, you know, I hate to have to bring up such a, a, a subject, but Charleston, South Carolina, both of my parents are from there. I was born and raised in D.C., but both of my parents are in Charleston, and so all my family is there. What's going on, my music? Was, oh. Melanie just made a comment to me off the air, but she got it all on But it was all on the air. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I was like, oh, we got to make sure. Okay. <laughs> She wore the blazer. Now she feeling this. Go ahead. You better do what she says. Um, you right. You know. So yeah, just this Charleston, South Carolina Psych. shoot. And um, my friend Justin Hires posted this on Facebook. This is how you arrest a white man who shot nine people. Actually, yeah, murdered nine that. people. And this is how you arrest a black man for selling cigarettes. I'm huh. saying he had you know, the vest on and everything. Huh. The difference is how you treat treating people. That how the police are treating people hmm. when they arrest. It's you true. know. It's a whole different ball game when it's so a the, black person. So the one dude shot up a, a, a church, and the other dude was selling cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, that's the world we live in. Very right? murder. I like that. That's you know. But we but we wrong if we mad about it, right? We we upset now. We wrong. So how do you change that? Is it the police? How they are seeing? I mean, it's it's just like. I want to say though. One end of it, too, and I think that this is something that, like, especially black men should be getting into their heads as well, is how to respond to the police. Because one thing that I've seen in a lot of these cases is there's a struggle involved to begin with. Just, well, just, the, just the police act, the police act like you don't got rights when they walk up on you. I hear you. I hear you. But if you we know, but, but you, you, you already know that they're looking at you through different lenses. So please, just, we like, got just, right. like, just like the that one. don't change nothing. We got right. We looking at them yes, through lenses but, too. But when, they exactly. the one, they that's the what I'm saying. Right. This is a life and death situation is what I'm saying. And so if you are unarmed, even if you they are, they are, they are looking at you a certain way, maybe unjustifiably so, you know that they're already seeing you that way just just handle it legally just handle it legally i got jokes but i'm gonna leave that shit i understand but it can end in the loss of life so when it can end in the loss of life don't don't fight with everything for us can end saying. in the loss of life what it's you think it is fair, to be a black man but like melanie's saying and somebody else made that comment on that post that what the white guys aren't fighting because there's another yeah, white because incident. because in that incident, he was pushing them off. So that, right. that is the difference between what happened in that situation. This guy just put his hand Somebody tried to put a chokehold on me. We're not saying it's fair, we're we're but we're just, But to know. keep your life is what you're saying. That's but the chokehold came after he was pushing the cops. If you he, watched the whole he had five dudes trying to take... Not even fighting against the I'm saying. Right, in life in general. I know there are. I know there are. Look, look, look let's get it together real quick. We try to keep it balanced and we keep it unbiased, but at the same time, there comes a point where it's like, yo, there's, you can't keep ignoring what's going on right in front of your face. You feel it me? Is. Like, you could say that because he's a skinny kid and because this is a big man that they, that's why they did it, but at the same time, like the, pr the crime never really matched the punishment, and then you wonder why people exactly, are upset. Exactly, I'm or, or the and punishment, definitely. the punishment, the, the, punishment yeah, see, see, I got too carried and, away with my um, bullshit. I don't know if you guys know this, but he had been in the church, not even for an hour, but he had been there a couple of times before that. A couple of other mm. Wednesdays, you know, I don't know oh, if he was scoping it out himself with or them. whatever. Okay. Yeah, so this was really, you know, planned. He was and, dedicated. Yeah, premeditated. Can I also add something? Can I also add something? Uh -huh. I want Kat. Yeah, go ahead, Kat. Catherine. Um, yeah, so, you know, there is a policy, and this is why I said earlier that we have to kind of look at the system, because, like, there aren't a lot of policies when it comes to the police force. They just go out there and roam, but, okay, who's actually monitoring what they're doing? And then also, there is a policy that, um, like, police officers, they can kill. Um, they can shoot to kill a victim. Um, so I think... That's what we need to really. The look law at. is set up so that they it can, is. you know. That it is a law for. Like, you know. like for instance, for instance. Well, and yeah, the cop snuck up in my crib one time because the door was open, and they used the excuse that the door wasn't secure, so he had the right to be in there. Shut hmm. up! Real talk. Wow, that's crazy. Real talk. If you'd have ended up killing him because you didn't know who it was. Now I'm, I'm a. Oh, now I'm a, he can kill Now I'm a. Now I'm a, a local man who right. shot a cop. You know. It's what crazy. Saying? They can do a no knock raid, bust into your thing, mm -hmm. you shoot them, and you're in, you're on the hook for that. Mm -hmm. How do I know that's not a murderer coming hey, let's, through? Let's my just door. say this. Let's let's just say this, man. Like I've been I've been overseas. You know what I mean. I know what it's like to be in a place where you need some type of law and order, or whatever like that. So I'm not saying that we should just be like, oh, let's just do whatever. But same time, it's like there needs to be rules. If they don't really got much rules, no, it, to to keep them from doing anything. And then they got other. The, the FOP protects their own. What's the FOP stand for? The, the Fraternal Order of Police. Oh, right. I used to be in the military. Same right. type Internal of thing. Internal affairs. They're not gonna. They they hold. They, you know you're gonna keep you're gonna keep things quiet when you're in the position of power right right so for the people where does that leave you shout out to cat though at least she trying to get involved in the system and do her yep. thing I you know what i'm saying anyway we're gonna keep it on a on a better note man you know what i'm saying yeah man, i'm actually i feel really good i mean all these young people 
I mean, honestly, like I feel a little better about my future knowing that there's some smart, optimistic. Uh-huh. Hey, we got diversity in the building, by the way. We appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? We got a white girl that raps. Yeah, I ain't even know though. You know what I'm saying? She has been there last night, guys. Yeah, Should have been there last night. She was, she was on that uh, sing for the moment with the Eminem. I was like, oh hey, girl, she gonna get her white. I like the angry. Is that is that a corny? Yeah, that's it for in the black. That's what's that. All right. Can we just really quickly get to the two ladies who? 